give you um, like cliff notes. It's definitely very technical. The, the, the handbook for the standards thick, but um, it runs through the International Living Future Institute. And they have, um, I think really it's more of a, yes, it's a, a building rating system where you can get you know certified, but it's really kind of a philosophy um, and like a way of a way of building, a way of operating your business. Um, it has different pedals that it focuses on. So you'll have like a water pedal, an energy pedal. And then within each of those pedals, there's imperatives um, that kind of guide you on how uh, how to build your building, how to design it, how to operate it. And it's really focused around regenerative design, um, a holistic systems-based way of thinking, um, doing as little to impact the site and the local community in, a, in negative ways and really trying to eliminate that altogether. Uh, um, and rather, there's a couple components uh, that I think speak to the the like level of expectations and um, how stringent the standard is for why I think it, it might be difficult to achieve or it might require you um, doing things differently, but that's kind of, that's kind of the whole point. Um, you know, the way we're doing things now isn't working. Um, I'm speaking um, with Jan Koch and, and Kelly O'Brien, both uh, with Shaman. And I think they'll probably focus more on, um, you know, how does a GC uh, function and what are the impacts to a GC on an LBC project? I'm going to be speaking more more broadly on sustainability and uh, the living building challenge uh, system. But I think there are things that, you know, hopefully people in the room will also, you know, gain an understanding about how, how long it takes to estimate or what do we need to focus on with our site logistics and incorporating certain things into our schedule. Um, you know, talking to subs and making sure that they're really understanding what what their responsibilities are too. Um, it's it's definitely a learning process too for teams. Um, we will be talking about uh, one of our projects that we just completed, um, the HMTX World Headquarters in Connecticut. Um, it's a really beautiful building. Um, so we'll be talking a little bit about that project. The industry uh, has been, but very much like this is coming. And these in here, here's evidence. There's like all these different conversations around that um, future that's not so far out there. Yeah, absolutely. Really I love cool. that. And women doing it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're not only doing it, but they're the expert in the field of it. Like that's, it's, yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Uh, so I've been.